Hey YouTube, what's up? Blue Witch here. So I'm really excited about doing this love spell also because this poor girl, woman, she is beautiful, but she had to have Kind of like a secret um, wedding ceremony in the country where she lives and her husband likes to go back and forth back and forth um, with his ex or some they have some kind of toxic relationship anyways so we are going to do a little domination on him even though he's very headstrong and possibly abusive a little bit. Um, I don't know. She didn't tell me that. But I just, I felt like that. Um, but, um, yeah. <coughs> yeah, I felt like that when I was meditating on them. I felt like, I don't know if he's verbally abusive or... Or if he's um, emotionally abusive, I don't know. But I just felt like I just felt like um, she's kind of sad about the whole thing. So, anyways, we're going to have him following her around like a little puppy dog. That's what I think. Yes. So we're gonna get our root out again. Right on him. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Okay. And then, which one does this go to? All right. Okay, let me put this over here. I think I need a bigger table, you guys. A bigger, like, little working altar, but this one's special. Okay, so now I'm going to fold this like this. And, wait, let me get my, my cinnamon stick first. Okay, so this is going to draw him to her. And I'm going to roll these up towards me. I've already done the petition. I already wrote, um, when I do your petition, like for this one, because I want domination on him, I wrote his name first in just a regular ink pen. And then I wrote your name over the top of his name in the red, the red marker. Um, because I want you to be the dominant one in this spell. So, because he's too dominant, we need to, we need to even things out a little bit. <laughs> and so that is what we're going to do, sister. Okay, doll, let's get started. I bind you, I command you to treat her with respect to love her, to cherish her, to always want to be there for her, to want to be with her and no one else. I command that you love her, cherish her, respect her, treat her with respect. You think of her in the morning, in the noon, in the night. You think of no one else but her. She's the only one you want to be with. You love her. You care about her. You care about how she feels. You miss her when you're away from her. You want to be with her. You'll do anything to be with her. You'll do whatever it takes to be with her. You'll want to take care of her and love her and respect her. You put her first before anything, even property. She always comes first. She's the most important thing in your life. There's nothing more important than her. She's everything to you. I command it.
with this knot, I seal your fate. In the name of Hecate and the name of Belial, I command that you will love her and respect her, take care of her. You will put her first, always, and forever. I bind you to her, that you will be with no one else but her. You will do whatever you have to do to make her happy. So will it be. Okay, now I want to use some domination powder. I'm going to use some of this in here. And I'm also going to use some on your candle. Where's your candle? healing in here for you honey because I think that you need some healing Carve your candle. Um, so basically when I carve on your candle, it says I'm writing everything basically that I said when I tied that string. Um, I just try to put those, um, power words on your candle. Like love, respect, and your names, of course. Um, and I also added faithful on here. Okay. cherish her. You will take care of her. You will want no one else but her. She's the only one for you. She's the only one you want to be with. You will respect her. You are you are bound to her. You will not be with anyone but her. Let all those herbs get in there, huh? Get in there. All right. 
Shop dog, he's over there. Um, these, those spice jars that have the big opening in the top are perfect for dipping candles. So I poured some of my um, oils in there. I'm gonna start using those for this part because um, it's so much easier, you know? Just little tips, little quick little tips. All right, yeah. It still gets everywhere, all over me, but that's okay. I don't care. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the dominating stuff on there because he is so headstrong and I mean not that it matters he could be headstrong all he wants when it comes to my deities it doesn't really matter a lot of times some of the men that are supposed supposedly so headstrong are the easiest ones to reach because a lot of times the ones that are headstrong are the most emotional ones and so they they receive the energy easier because they're so emotional and that's why they're always trying to be so tough and strong all the time it's just because really they're just so emotional and they just receive the energy easier sometimes not always occasionally you know it doesn't work that way but doesn't matter anymore. I really don't have to worry about such things anymore. Now that I have my Hecate and my Belial, I have my balance, so I'm pretty, pretty good to go now. I'm not an orphan anymore. <laughs> you know? not nice. I shouldn't say that. But I think that I kind of felt that way at first, you know. I mean, when you have Hecate, it's like, it's amazing. It's all you. I mean, what more could you ask for, right? And then Belial comes in and you're like, holy moly. Alrighty then. There's some crystals sticking to this. Awesome. All right. That's really nice. My goodness. I'm not left handed. So earlier, when I first came in here, I started getting everything set up earlier, and one of my one of my lids popped off on my working altar. Um, it was just an empty jar. There was no spells in it or anything. It was just sitting there, a two empty ones sitting there to put herbs in, and one of the, and the lid just went. Poof. Hello. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Okay, this is for D and A. DNA, there's your, not DNA, but D and A. There is your beautiful spell. And I again, once again, you guys, I do work these for three days. So know that this is just the first part of it. I'll be on these until Friday will be the last day for them. Friday I put a pink candle on it for passion and um, and tomorrow I'll probably put an orange candle on it. Unless Hecate says no, put red, then I'll put red. But usually I put orange on Thursdays and then Fridays I put pink or red. Just depends. Okay, you guys, is that it for tonight? I'm already done. I'm already finished for the night. Wow, that was fast. Well, that's okay, because I got lots of cleaning up to do, it looks like. <laughs> All right, peace out, y'all. Have a great rest of your week. And tomorrow I have only one prosperity spell to do. And I have, an, an, I have a booster to do um, for one of my clients. She really doesn't need it, but she just wants to make sure that the energy just keeps flowing. Um, she's doing amazing. Everything's going well. And he's with her all the time now, and he loves her, and he thinks of her all the time, and texts her all the time, and... and goes to her house to do his, his work whenever he can. They're a very passionate couple and everything's going great, but she just wants to keep that energy flowing and so she wants me to do a booster. But I'm gonna wait until Friday to do it. It's Friday's love day and since you don't need him to come back to you and you don't need healing and you don't need to open the road to him, you don't need any of that. You just, you just want to boost the love part, so I'm going to wait until Friday, and then Friday I'm going to add some of that root to it and um, do a booster. Oh, yes, I am. All right. Um... Okay, you guys, that's it. Peace out. Hey, you guys, earlier, I thought it was raining outside. I could hear, like, all the raindrops and everything, you know, falling outside. And then, and then I went in. I went outside, you know, to see what was going in the main house. And it was dry. There was no rain. So... I've been hearing that a lot lately, a lot of rain, and there's no rain. So, it's very strange, but okay then, huh? Never a dull moment around here. Alright you guys, peace out, good night. Talk to you tomorrow.